In this video, I just want to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to draw yourself a flat design house, which looks like the one you can see on your screen at the minute. To get started on this little house, we're going to go up to the File menu, start a new document, go to the Web Templates and choose the 1280 by 1024 pixel document. Click Create when you're ready to go. Now, first thing you want to do is just put a background color in, and I'm going to use the Rectangle tool to do that from my toolbox. I'm going to choose a bright green kind of fill color. I don't want to have it too fluoro, it looks a little bit tacky that way, but still reasonably bright. And you want to get rid of the stroke as well, so just turn your stroke off. Start in the top left corner, and as always, drag down to the bottom right corner. Uh, I might just brighten that up a little bit. Yeah, it looks alright. And when you're done, just go to your Layers panel. Expand layer 1, click on the rectangle and lock that layer into place. Okay, you hit that little box there, you'll see the little padlock come up to show you that you've got your background uh, locked into position. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a slab for the house to sit on. So using your rectangle tool, go to your properties and we're going to change that fill colour. Fill colour I'm going to use is in my colour mixer option here. I'm going to type in a hexadecimal code. I'm going to type in CDC. E, C, E. Press enter. You'll get a light grey. If you just draw a skinny slab across the bottom, it should have something looking like that. Use your selection tool now just to try and position that in the centre of the page if it isn't already there. And then I want you to duplicate this slab by holding down Alt and clicking and dragging up. Hold Shift as well so you get it perfectly above the other one and set it right on top. I want you to change the fill colour to white, and I want you to make this quite skinny, this one. So that's how our slab's going to look. A little grey slab with an even smaller white strip along the top. Next thing I want to draw is the actual house itself. So using the rectangle tool again, we're going to change our fill colour. Using another hexadecimal code here, I'm going to type in F79654. And we get a fairly bright orange colour. I'm going to start just in from the end of the slab and finish drawing it just in from the end of the slab as well. And you don't want to go too high, remember, because we've got a roof still to stick on the top, so something like that doesn't look too bad. Now when we do put the roof on, we're going to need a shadow on our house here, so I'm just going to quickly put the shadow in first. So I'm going to keep my rectangle tool selected and just grab the colour black. And I'm going to draw a black strip that goes across just the top section of my house like that. And we're going to change the opacity to about 20%. Okay, now that's going to be a shadow from the roof. You'll see how that fits in in just a moment when we draw that. Okay, so let's start adding the roof now. So still using our rectangle tool. Uh, I'm going to grab a oh, darkish grey kind of colour. Um, let's have a look. We might go with this dark grey here from the swatches for now. You can always change it up later if need be. And I'm going to draw across just above that shadow there. That's the start of my roof. Alrighty. As long as that's positioned in the centre, I'll be happy. There we go. Uh, next thing I'm going to draw on is the actual triangle part of the roof. So this time, we're going to need our polygon tool for that. Now before we start drawing, we'll change our fill colour again just to a lighter grey. And the colour I'm going to go, I've got a hexadecimal code for this one, 707676. And what we're going to do is we're going to start, actually I might just click on the page once and make sure that we've got a three-sided polygon coming in. We'll just click OK. doesn't matter what size it is for the minute because we're going to grab our selection tool and we're going to stretch the bottom left corner out to the bottom left corner there. And then we can just bring this right side over to there. Now that's a pretty good shape. Okay, you don't want to have it too tall because it looks a bit tacky. You don't want to have it too low because it looks a bit funny. But something looking like that, we should be happy. You can see that shadow now kind of fits in now that we've got the roof turned on. Now the next thing we might draw is a couple of windows. We might do three of them in fact. And we're going to use the rectangle tool for that. Now we're going to start with a dark blue colour. 
on our window. So grab your rectangle tool and we're going to change this fill color here to yet another hexadecimal code. I'm going to use 135D72. That gives us dark blue and what we're going to do is just draw ourselves a rectangle, probably something looking like that. Don't worry if you get the size wrong for the windows, we're going to resize them later if they don't look too good. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is just add a strip of a shadow across the top of that. So I click off it and change the color to black. Zooming in a bit here, we're just going to start in the top left corner. Come across to the right there. I'm just making sure that this fit in nicely. Yep, sure has. Now with that black selected, we're going to change its opacity there to about 20%. So it just gives off a darker blue on the top of the window. Okay, so that's how we should be looking at the minute. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a lighter blue section down here. So grab your rectangle tool again and change your fill color. Again, we're going to use another hexadecimal code. We're going to write in 21A, 5CC. Oops, I had the house selected. I always seem to do that. We better just type that in again once we've deselected everything. So 21A, 5CC. And we're going to draw ourselves another little rectangle. It's probably going to go about... Oh yeah, we'll say to there. Okay, so feel free to move that around until you've got that in the center. So something like that. Next up, we're going to put a window sill down the bottom here. So grab your rectangle tool again, click off everything. Just want to make sure that my background's locked. Yep, that is. Um, I'm going to grab my fill and choose white. I'm going to draw a little window sill. Just going across the bottom of the window here. Just going a little bit wider than the actual frame itself there. And using your selection tool, I want you to hold down Alt. And we're going to click and drag down another copy of that. Hold Shift as well, so it goes right below the original windowsill. And we're going to change that bottom rectangle to black. Then we're going to make it smaller. And we're going to change the opacity to 20%. And that's just going to be a little shadow that sits underneath the windowsill. Now when we zoom out, we can see we've got a pretty decent looking window. So what I'm going to do now is just I'm going to go into my layers panel and I'm going to lock this bright orange rectangle here, which is the actual house. I want to be able to click and drag over the top of this window without selecting the house itself. Now we've got that window selected, you can just make it a little bit bigger or smaller, whatever you need to do. Just notice that that opacity hasn't changed on that top part of the window, so i better change that. There you go. And what I'm going to do is highlight all of that window, right click on it and group it. Okay, so that's one big shape now. With the selection tool, I'm just going to click on that window once more, hold down Alt and click and drag out to the right. If I hold down Shift, it will keep it in line with the other one. Okay, we need to do that one more time. So we've got three windows there. So click, hold Alt, drag, hold Shift. Okay, and then you can um, drop that somewhere off to the right there. It doesn't matter if they're not equally spaced apart just yet, even though they look it. You can do that in a moment. Um, actually, you might do that now. We'll just have a quick look. If you highlight all three of those, go to your window menu and choose Align. We just want to distribute those um, horizontally. So that button there would do it. Looks like they are already perfectly positioned the same um, amount of distance apart. Okay, over on the right here, we're going to put a door in. So let's grab our rectangle tool again. Must be getting sick of using this tool. Um, we want to put in a light brown color first. So the code I'm going to use is 89, uh, 6D, 58. That'll give us a light brown, which will allow us to draw a door, which goes to the same height as the windows. It can be a little bit wider if you want it to be. All right, now on that door, they're going to put a little bit of a design, so we're going to put some darker panels across it there. So, using our rectangle tool again, change your fill color. This time, I want you to type in 745944. And we're simply going to draw a rectangle, looks something like that. And before you add any more in, just get that one positioned in the center. There we go. Click on it with your selection tool, hold Alt, drag down and press Shift to get it somewhere down below. Don't worry about even spacing spacing just yet. 
you should be able to do that in just a moment. Alright, so once you've got all four of them drawn in, just highlight them all and open up your align panel again. We want to vertically distribute those um, darker rectangles. Okay, so now they're all evenly spaced apart. Alrighty, so our house is looking really good. One last thing I might um, put on top of the roof here is just a little bit of a feature, just to make it a little bit more exciting. So we're going to use triangles again. So we need to go back to our toolbox here, select the rectangle tool and change it to the polygon tool. Now we're going to start by drawing an orange triangle. So change your fill color to the orange that we used before. Okay, that color was, if you forget, F7. 9654. Okay, and all I want you to do is draw out a rectangle. I'm just going to click on the page once, make sure that I've got three sides on my um, triangle and click OK. Now I'm just going to get it positioned right in the center there and then I'm going to bring down the top of it. Okay, I don't want it to be as um, tall as it is. Now with that there, I'm going to go to Edit and Copy, or you can press Control C. And then go edit, paste in place, or shift control V. Another one, which we'll probably use actually, is paste in front. Okay, and control S the shortcut for that. And what that does is just paste another triangle exactly on top of this one. Alright, so I'm going to change the color of this to black. And then I'm going to resize it. Okay, I'm just going to simply hold shift and drag down from the top. You can see now got two triangles there. I'm going to copy this black one now, so I'm going to press Control c to copy, and I'm going to press Control f to paste in front. So we've now got another black triangle on top of the previous black triangle. What we're going to do is change that fill color to a dark blue that we've already used before. So the code for that was 135D72. And hold Shift, and from the top, just drag down a tiny little bit don't want this one to go too far because we only want a little bit of that black showing. That's looking good. And the last one I'm going to do is just copy this triangle here, so the blue one, by pressing Control C. Control F will paste in front. Change the fill color for me to the light blue that we used in the windows there. So 21A, 5CC is the code. Press Enter, hold Shift, drag down. This one can be a bit smaller so you can see more of that darker blue but that's just a little ornament there that sits on the roof just to i guess give our house a little bit more um, excitement but that is how you draw a simple flat design house using illustrator